Hi and welcome to No War Zone. From Fahian to Marco Polo to Mark Twain to the New York Times, Sri Lanka has been described as the destination for travelers around the world. Today, with the war over and the improved security situation, the focus has shifted once again to the tourism sector and its revival. If successful, this could prove to be a massive boost to the country's economic status, but it is also easier said than done. In our first report this week, we take a look at the new challenges concerning tourism in Sri Lanka and also find out if the industry is up to facing them. Flamenco dancing, performed by a Spanish dancer who has come all the way from Spain to take part in a Spanish culture and food fiesta. This is one of the Mount Liminia Hotel's latest promotional events, targeting Sri Lankan and international tourists. It is one of a series of such events that this heritage hotel has organized to make the most of the post-war environment and contribute to Sri Lanka's drive to revive the tourism industry. Though we are a private-owned hotel, we play a major role in tourism industry in Sri Lanka. And it's a, it's a part of us as a organization as well as a citizen to support the whole initiative put forward from the, the government of Sri Lanka and also we are all you know really waiting for 2011 the visit Sri Lanka campaign to launch off and uh, we have planned a lot in this hotel and direct towards for the same uh, launch as well as the whole the festivities what's going to happen like many other hotels in the country Colombo's Mount Lavinia Hotel has embarked on an active promotional campaign. This 200-year-old former colonial governor's residence, with its prime beachfront location in the city resort of Mount Lavinia, is playing up the hotel's unique characteristics, while catering to the needs and demands of the global traveller, as they compete with other popular destinations in Asia. In the hospitality industry, we all have a part to play. So I think the challenges that we face are competing with the Maldives, the Sing uh, Singapore, Malaysia. So it's, it's, we're trying to be like them or better than them. So those are the challenges. It's, a, it's in a macro level. So I mean, if we all come together as in the hospitality industry, I think we can overcome. I mean, that's what we're planning on doing. Visit 2011 next year is basically trying to get the whole, whole of Sri Lanka to showcase to the world stating that we are the place to, for you to visit. But beyond the hype of Visit Sri Lanka 2011 and the optimism created by the end of war in 2009, Sri Lanka's tourism industry must recover from the setbacks of nearly three decades of war. At a time when the rest of Asia, such as Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore and the Maldives, enjoyed a dramatic increase in tourists, Sri Lanka lagged behind, as tourists to the country were either put off or advised not to visit by their own governments due to the then prevailing war situation. In spite of this, Sri Lanka's tourist industry managed to keep its position as one of the country's largest foreign exchange earners and proved to be a resilient part of the economy. Now as the tourism industry attempts to catch up, the challenges are many especially if it is to reach the target of 2.5 million tourists a year by 2060. A 2 million increase from the half a million visitors, which has been the average over the past few years. To accommodate 2.5 to a list, we need about 50,000 hotel rooms. At the moment, we have about 14,000 hotel rooms. So we need the 36,000 rooms coming into it during the period of next five to six years. So we need more and more investment to come in. So this is where the challenge is. We have actually bring it to the notice of the people here in Sri Lanka and to the overseas, basically to invest in Sri Lanka, because you have a great opportunity. We have embarked in major development programs like the Kalpitiya, which is going to bring about 4,000 rooms, Pasikuda, about 1,000 rooms, and Kuchevali, another about 3,000 rooms. So these hotel projects will basically will start coming up only by 2012, and they are on. We are confident that if we can get this investment coming into the country, we'll be able to get the 50,000 rooms.